welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we are playing Another World, as you just saw there in the title screen that went by so fast I didn't even have a chance to talk over it. This is a cinematic platform game, and oh man, okay. We play a physicist named Lester who just showed up to the lab in his Ferrari. Well, first of all, <laughs> what kind of physicist owns a Ferrari? That must be one successful physicist. And can we talk about the graphics for just one second? I mean, we're going to be talking about this throughout the video, but this is a game that was on the Amiga. And my god, already it has pretty amazing graphics. Now this game is one that was influenced by things like Prince of Persia and so on, but it was developed by a, a guy who worked for a long time as like a graphics artist. Uh, in the programming industry, or in the game industry, and he went back and decided to learn how to program. He figured he could do it because he wanted to create a cinematic style game. And this is totally awesome, by the way. Like, look at these, look at these, like, retro cinematic graphics. This would almost be impressive for, like, an indie game that was made these days. I see you have driven your Ferrari. <laughs> Where is this guy working? No physics lab in the world is this advanced. And any physics lab in the world that gives you a Ferrari, I mean, that is a lab you want to be working for, let me tell you. Very few companies in this world will give you a Ferrari. It's got like a 3D operating system here. His computer is better than mine. Shields off. I guess he just decided to show up in the middle of the night to run a random experiment for funsies. I know if I worked in a physics lab this advanced, that's what I would be doing. He's just accelerating some particles, ejecting them into his shield, and he gets some statistics. This is the fun part of research where you get to go beep boop 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 boop. He's out drinking some soda. That is an integral part of being a programmer slash researcher as well. The experiment will begin in three, two, one. What do you guys think is going to happen? What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? Oh no, a storm is brewing. I think there's going to be some kind of freak accident, guys. It's going to propel us into the narrative of this game. You know, this looks like it, it is a super advanced physics building or whatever that he's in with like a Ferrari and stuff. But my God, it looks like uh, you're in like some rundown little bunker in like New Mexico or something. Well, lightning is chasing our particles and it zapped. Oh my God, it like burned the console out of existence. <laughs> On the security cameras, they just saw an explosion and literally exactly where he was sitting was vaporized into a pothole. So he's dead now. Uh, that's the end of his story. I wonder what happens to his Ferrari in this scenario. Oh my god, he was teleported. Well, it was pretty damn lucky for him. And... <laughs> Wait, he tried to swim, and then he just got sucked into the ocean. Oh, was I supposed to do something? Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I can actually make him swim. I didn't even realize I wasn't watching a cutscene anymore. That is actually pretty damn impressive. When a game of from this era... Um mixes cutscenes and gameplay so well that you can't tell one from the other. So here we are. There was like a little buffalo creature looking for me. There's like tentacles coming out of this. This looks like a pool. This doesn't look like a natural formation. This is some alien's pool, actually. And are those like cities built into the mountain? Are those lights from a city? Oh, God, there's a tentacle reaching out. Okay. I think I can... My only attack right now is to kick. So there's this, these bugs casually walking towards me. I'm just totally going to step on them. Okay, that bug is on my side. I guess this one is not. Let's just bolt past all this stuff. This really does have a sort of Prince of Persia y feel to it. Although in Prince, oh god, oh god, oh! It, it attacked my knee, and I'm dead. Jeez. Okay. Okay, we can get past this. I'm digging this game so far. It's interesting. It's interesting how, because the game is, is, is so sort of rich in the animations, I don't know what any screen is going to be about or, or what any alien or creature... Oh, God. That was stupid. It's going to look like. Like in Mario, because Mario's worlds are based out of simple blocks, you can tell that any Mario world you go into, it's going to be a series of... There'll be brick blocks, there'll be question blocks, there'll be some clouds, and so on and so forth. But with this, like, because every screen is, like, manually animated and drawn, I don't know what the background's going to look like. I don't know where aliens are going to be or what they're going to look like or anything like that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Okay. Um, turns out 
these little alien slugs are more problematic than I thought. Maybe I'm just not taking my time? Definitely when you're on an alien planet, you don't want to let something random touch you. Because it, it always happens in these sci-fi things that uh, aliens are highly poisonous to us. I would like to see like a science fiction thing where like humans are really poisonous to an alien. Like you sneeze on an alien, it totally dies. I guess this would happen in the original War of the Worlds, the like H.G. Wells radio thing they did. Where like aliens had like invaded Earth in theory in this little like radio thing that they produced. Oh god, look at all these things. But uh, it was like the common cold ended up killing them because they had no immunities to it. I guess they did something similar to that in Battlestar Galactica, the reimagined series that they did back in the early 2000s. Oh, come on! I was so close! Okay, we're going to cut to me passing this because it's taking too long. Okay, if you duck and kick, you actually do a longer kick, which is what I needed. Longer attack. These, like, little worms? Oh god, oh god. Like, what? what are they even? They're clearly not interested in eating me, because as soon as they poison me, they just kind of like, eh, and that's it. We're, we're really not interested in doing anything more to you. Okay, here we go. Now that I have a long distance attack, these little worms, they're no match for me. I really am not dressed appropriately. Oh, are you kidding me? At least eat me. At least eat me. Oh, you son of a... Alright, we finally passed that. That was surprisingly difficult. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Why, why are all the enemy creatures like weird shadows? Oh god! What? Am I back here again? Oh, come on! Okay, here we go. What the hell am I supposed to do against this giant beast here? I, I do not know. Can we like approach him very, very casually? Maybe if I just saunter over, he won't be so mad. He won't attack. Oh my god. Get! Get! Am I back in the pool of water? I think I'm actually going to have to look up a tutorial for this game. Oh my god, I thought I could just play it. But it's like the, the first screen, I'm already stuck. Oh, if you wait there too long, that thing comes and kills you. Okay, interesting turn of development here. It turns out that there is a way to get past that creature, but it does not involve fighting it. So let's give this a shot. Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, I'll try and like actually fight these things instead of like editing it away. I guess maybe I should kill them all, because I it may be necessary to me getting past this point. You'll see what I mean in a second. But I've gotten way better at kicking these things now that I've practiced off camera for a sec. You know, one thing, so this guy's stuck on an alien world. He's just like, yeah, pretty pretty badass. Just killed those little worm things. I wonder why the beetle is not interested in me. It's like the worms, all they want to do is poison me and continue to slither on. They don't want to eat me or anything. Just poison me. But the, uh, the beetle just, like, couldn't be more disinterested. It's like, human? Eh. Tried it. Not my thing. But you know what's really lucky for this guy? Is that he teleported to an alien world that has a breathable atmosphere. It's one of those things that, like, it always gets overlooked in sci-fi, but, like, the idea that you would go to an alien planet and actually be able to breathe the air? I mean, in reality, good luck with that. Okay, here we go. My normal business, then a shadow alien tiger comes after us, and we got to run. We got to run from this thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, here we go. And uh, grab that. And we. It's like still staring at us, like, hey, where'd you go? Okay, let's just bolt in case it decides to run after us. But there you go. Oh, God, it is chasing us. I'm terrified. Oh, my God, it's going to catch us. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Where do we go? Oh, oh God. Holy crap. I thought my heart's actually racing a little bit. Why is everything on this alien planet like covered in shadow? These things absorb a lot of light. Hello. My name is Lester. I'm really good at physics and I have a sweet car. I gave him like <laughs> this weird smile. Oh God. Um, I guess they didn't like me. I should have totally given them a Mentos. That would have... I think that would have made our whole first encounter go over a little better. Now we're in like an alien jail. Thinking about all the choices that led me to this part of my life. I mean, I thought I was totally killed by a laser to the chest. I'm actually, I'm actually happy to be in alien jail. Pretty interesting animations here. So the animation here... Um, the, the guy who developed the animations, oh, it's a cloak. 
They're actually weird gorilla looking dudes. Hello. Okay, we can swing this. A lot of puzzle solving in this game. But the animation style for this game, uh, the animator guy, he did some work on uh, Dragon's Lair, I think? I don't think they want to swing this cage. I'm just going to keep doing it. Like, you can't tell me how to be a prisoner. Oh, we landed on him. He, like, passed me on the back. He's like, you go this way. I'm out of here. Is this a laser? Can we get this? Yes. Oh, man, it looks like one of those laser guns, uh, the phaser guns that... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my words here. From the Sega Master System. Yo. We got a gun. We have, like, a little alien compadre who we're escaping with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's, like, an alien in the foreground looking at us in the background. Can we free these guys, by the way? Oh, God. Go away, go away, go away. Okay. I guess we can't free these guys. Oh, he's doing something. Okay, I got you back, buddy. Yo, these things are nothing. Um, but yeah, so I guess the, the animator for this did some work on, like, Dragon's Lair, or he was at least impressed enough by the animation Dragon's Lair that he wanted to kind of create these, like, cinematic, photorealistic graphics, um, in the Amiga. And the way he did it, I think, was using some vector graphics. So this doesn't use CDs or laser discs or anything. It is literally just a, a disc system. But it is good enough to basically handle all this, this cool stuff that's happening. Come on, buddy. We should name this guy. He's like my Chewbacca. Come on, Chewie. We gotta get out of here. And Chewie goes... <clears throat> okay. Open that. Oh, wait, I shot it and a thing happened. It stopped moving. Can we leave Chewbacca? Oh, we can totally leave him. Let's not, though. We, we, want, our, we want our furry companion. Life doesn't mean nothing without a good old Chewie. I like that we have a gun, though. I thought we would be kicking for quite a while, because I read that you, you start with a gun and then you get, like, other things. I thought we'd be stuck with the gun for a... or the kicking for a little while. But now we got other stuff going on. I like that. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, we can, like, build force fields or something with our gun. That's pretty cool. Okay, are we just, like, stuck there? Like, we... Okay, we can't go back that way. So we've tried to go up, down, left, and right. Can we just escape? Oh, we can to totally just escape. Or we can look out the window into the alien landscape. My god, where are we? Are we in the future, the past, an alien world, a parallel dimension? So many questions. Doesn't look like a very welcoming alien civilization. Alien civilizations never look too welcoming. I feel like if an alien looked down at us and only saw like a really crappy town. It's not like the aliens looking at like Times Square and they're like, ooh, that looks like a fun place to go. I want to go to an alien world that looks really, really fun. Okay. So wait, I, I, I'm kind of confused here. There's nothing that we can do here. There's... Doesn't seem to do anything. Whoa, what is that? I, I, I don't even fully understand how to use this little Sega Master System phaser gun, this light gun that I've got. I love that they actually animate that. So I messed up and kind of got killed. Trying this again, we were stuck. We got stuck. Oh god, we die. We got stuck in that uh, little elevator shaft thingy. There's something I was supposed to do, but couldn't quite figure it out. Oh god. You guys stay away. Oh god, oh god, we both got killed. Okay. I don't know if Lester here is up to the challenge of this adventure. I mean, he doesn't really have a very intimidating name either, like Lester. Kind of reminds me of like Manny or Lance, Gladys. It's kind of like one of those like names that really is like a generation behind. I guess, you know, maybe when this game came out, Lester wasn't that, that sort of dorky of a name. But, uh, you know, in another game, you would just see that and then would say, picked up. But this actually animated the hand grabbing it, which is totally awesome. But, yeah, it's funny how, like, names are generational like that. Like, apparently some of the new names that are coming out are, like, uh... So, apparently, Khaleesi and Arya, our names are going to start seeing in about ten years. Because parents are, like, naming their children that. Oh, God. I died again! 
How did I get through this so easily the first time around, and now I can't even make it to the elevator? Maybe if you shot me in the cage, as opposed to just trying to intimidate me? Give me that gun. Thanks, buddy. I like the little backpack he gives me. I like to let me know I did a good job. We're on the same side. Why did they capture me instead of just killing me? That's... Maybe they're like going to interrogate me. They're like, what is this little puny thing that we have captured? Maybe they've never seen a human before? What? This game kind of reminds me of like Sierra games in terms of the like animation and puzzle solving. Although it does definitely seem like better animation than Sierra games that uh, I've played before. Oh, come on! Swinging in a cage. Swinging in a cage, spending all day swinging in a cage. <laughs> this is a very kind of like fun, interesting game. But one thing I will definitely say is it is pretty damn hard and pretty unforgiving with the killing. I do appreciate that it has these automatic checkpoints. So I'm sort of at this, you know, alien prison camp thingy right now. But it would be nice if I just didn't die so damn easily and so quickly. I want to get back to that elevator. Learn the secrets of the elevator. I wonder if I could just run past that guy. I guess not. Okay. This time, I'm just going to stand here. And I'm just going to do this. If anyone comes in, they're going to get... What? How the hell did he block that? It was like a barrage of non-stop lasers. Oh, back to the cage. This is the fun part of the game. Swinging in the cage. Come on, walk into this. Walk into this. Seems to be easier to kill the guys way over here than over here. Hopefully my guy has opened the door. Where is he? Why didn't you open the door? What the fuck? This is so bizarre. I've never had it where I could get past a certain point in the game and then die and go back and then never be able to get there again. What am I doing wrong here? What the hell? Come on, I want to like you, game. I really want to like you. I want to get farther and have fun. You seem really well animated. And very fun to play. Just let me get a little further, goddammit. <laughs> you ever get that feeling where a game is like being a real jerk to you? You're like, come on, I want to like you. I want to pass you. Just let me do it. Okay, we're just going to cover our dude here. Although I think if we leave him for too long, he gets away from us. Oh, God. Well, he got killed, and then I got killed. Okay, rather than dying repeatedly, I decided to look up yet more tutorial information on what I'm supposed to do. I think maybe just shooting with the gun is not the best strategy. I guess the gun can produce force fields, so I might as well use one. So that's what my new tactic is going to be, trying to protect myself. I suppose a good defense is fair enough. Kill this guy. Just evaporate him. He had a wife, family, kids. I don't care. His name was Grog. He's a pretty good, decent guy, actually. Okay, there we go. We'll just keep protecting ourselves. How about that? Oh, we can shoot through it. Boom. How about that? You're never going to get me. I'm going to be a, a jerk about this. <laughs> there, okay, we learned how to cheat them out. Okay, so when you defend yourself, actually it's not as, as hard as it seems. So apparently, okay, hold on, before we go there, I'm just going to go down here for a second, blow up whatever the hell this thing is. If anything. We're just going to let our gun overcharge. And it doesn't do anything. That's okay. Imagine you had a gun that could actually produce a force field. That's pretty good. So one thing that I am not a fan of in this game is that up is jump. So I haven't had to huge jump all that much, but it is a little annoying. It's actually, it's not too bad in this game. Okay. No. Charge. Charge your gun. Wait. Why isn't the gun shooting? I am so confused. What happened to the gun? Guys, the gun just crapped out on me. I didn't. Is it out of ammo? 
What the? You're supposed to blow up this wall. Oh my god, I finally get here. And I'm just dead. I'm screwed. Okay, might as well go commit suicide and try this again. Thank you. Okay, I decided to spare you from once again watching me escape from that prison. Just cut right to the chase. So does this actually, like, destroy my gun or something? Yeah, because, like, I can't shoot anymore. Oh, interesting. Oh, God. Oh, wait, go down? Okay. Get the hell out of here! Oh, my God! Our buddy got destroyed! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, and our gun is weak! Um... Okay, I guess we have to go commit suicide. That's cool, there's like teleporter things in here. And we're dead. So you know what? This game has a lot more puzzle-solving aspects than I thought. I could was kind of expecting it to be more of like an action platformer-based game, but it really is more of like an exploration-style game with like, uh, you know, interesting uh, puzzle elements. It really does remind me of like a Sierra Adventure game. Uh-oh, what do we do here? I'm out of bullets, dude. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, are you going to sacrifice yourself? Uh-oh. Are they get, totally going to kill him? Or maybe they're just like, hey, the guy just disappeared. <laughs> I like how I can like, roll around this tube. This is hilarious. Um, very interesting animation yet again. Uh, fell into a sewer system. I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, man. Now we're in like a, a sewer maze. Oh, no. This is not going to work out well. Oh, God. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. That's not the way you want to die in this world. Falling down a giant pipe. Blah, 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 blah. Got like a face full of water there. Wow, what an interesting game. So let me just say, as I said, I was expecting more of like an action platformer when I first saw this game. But really what I'm learning is this is basically a puzzle game. It really is. It is kind of like an action version of those old Sierra Adventure games. And I kind of dig it in a weird way. This game could have been made this year. I could 100% see this being an indie title that you could have greenlit on Steam and you could have kickstarted and done all your internet-y things to like help make it happen. Am I going to die here? Nope. He might, he's going to be really bruised when he gets out of here. So I this is a really interesting game. It is very difficult and challenging, let me say. Will this charge my gun, by the way? What is this? Oh, God. Get a little electrocuted there. Ooh, but it did charge the gun, so that's nice. <laughs> Feels tingly. I wonder if my clothes are like all staticky now. If my pants are clinging to my leg. Wee! Like it like twirls my hair. <laughs> this game is hilarious. This is this is awesome. Um, totally totally different style of game than I was expecting. I think, um, but in a good way. It every everything I encounter feels so unique. The animations are also different and and cool. It's it, yeah, it really is a neat game. Ooh, we're actually getting outside. I like this. The controls are pretty good too. Pretty solid game here. I don't know how much further I'm actually gonna go with this. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that's my dude. He's escaping too. Yes. I love how there's animation in the foreground and background. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Took a spike to the old chestal region there. Wow. There's like a story going on that's being told through animations. There's little puzzles here to solve that are actually not too bad. Although the, the, the hardest puzzle of all was that first beast. I don't know if I would have figured that out on my own. And actually the prison puzzle was kind of difficult. I like rolling around those tubes we did just now though. So uh, let's see if we can get to maybe like the next segment of the game. Um, because we're not going to have time to finish this whole thing, but uh, it's kind of like every screen is like a new adventure. I do kind of want to see what's on the next screen and the next screen. And we're going to have to jump, I think. Jumping. Oh, shoot. Okay, that didn't help. Oh, God, electrocuted. Okay, does... He doesn't really jump that far, though. I don't know if jumping is going to be the thing that gets him out. I might have to wait for my buddy to help me out. We'll give it a shot. We'll give... We have two more tries we can try here. One, we'll try and jump the pit. And two, we'll try and do nothing and let our pal help us out and see if he can do it. See if he can figure out a way to get us past that giant gorge. I love that you, like, get electrocuted and lift it off the ground a little to charge your gun. That's hilarious. I guess there's no other way to charge guns in the alien civilization. 
Oh man, that's hilarious. He's like running as well. Okay, hold on. Don't run. Because we don't want to die here. Okay, what are we supposed to do? Jump! Didn't help. Oh, still took a spike to the old chestal region. Like when he saunters with the gun. He's like, yeah, I'm badass. The animation's so smooth, though. I'm still amazed that this game came out um, back when it did. It seems ahead of its time for a lot of reasons. Okay, here we go. Take our time here. Nope, don't. Ah, woo! -hoo. Okay, now we blow through. Wait, we blow through this wall like this. Boom! And we made it. We escaped into a pit of darkness. Or did we? Did we? I assume it's loading. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're gonna walk over very carefully. Do a nice careful jump. Don't jump right into the pit. Oh my god. Can't believe he survived that. So yeah, the jump the jump controls are a little dicey because you have to press uh, up to jump and you have to press left or right to move. But actually, I feel like I'm doing okay here. Should I blow this up? Oh! Oh, he's like drowning. He's like a face full of water. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we don't go that way. So what do we do? Okay. Can we go this way? We blow up this wall. When in doubt, overcharge your pistol and blow up a wall. I feel like it's... It's nice that it's not taking the charge away from my gun after I blow up a wall. The stairs work very well, very intuitive. Okay, we're going to try and go this way. To the right. Oh, God! Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I like how that's the death scene, and you just know he drowns. You just intuit it. Okay. Huh, I wonder... I don't know if I'll be able to get out of these caves. Well, you know what? I've had a lot of fun with this game here today. Um... Let's, I'm, I'm going to continue trying to get out of these caves, but I'm just going to so, sort of slowly start to wrap up because, uh, because yeah, I, I, I feel like I, I'm at that stage. So, another world. What have we learned here today, guys? Well, I think what we've learned... Oh, I'm at the other side of this thing. Okay, it's good to know where I am. I think what we've learned is that sometimes the most creative games come from odd sources. And what I mean is... The guy who developed this game, he was originally a graphics artist, and he decided to go back and learn programming. And, you know, actually, when I read about that, I was thinking to myself, like, if I could actually stop what I'm doing right now and go back and try and, like, learn some new skill, what would it be? You know, if I was going to, like, change career paths or, like, change education or something, like, what would I, what would I do? Um, and it's pretty impressive that, that this artist guy really got involved in like the game design aspects because he ended up then producing one of, I think I got to blow this up and then like run. Oh God, run, 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 run. Oh yeah, we survived. Oh God, <laughs> we fell there. Okay, so that's the, the secret. We got to blow that up and then we got to run. And then I think this will like float us back up to the top oh shoot where are we now i didn't mean to fall down here think i might be dead or is this an alternate route well if this is an alternate route that's pretty cool whoa god crushed by rocks it's interesting how wherever you go there's something to explore though we but yeah i think you know having someone who came from a, a graphics background whoa oh god led to a, a really interesting game it, it has the styles of animation that I've like just never seen in use before and it's just like a really creative inventive game um, it, it is far more of a puzzle game than I would have thought I thought this is gonna be like a pure action game but it definitely is a puzzle game um, oh, pfft. It's annoying. They're action y parts for sure, but it definitely is a puzzle game. And again, it reminds me of the old Sierra games in, in a good way. It's sort of a more action y uh, version of those. So, you know, pros and cons. Um, I mean, perhaps 
one I've talked a lot about pros basically in recapping the game here. But one of the big cons I, I will say is that um, things can be kind of obscure at times. I'm not a huge fan of up being jump, and like death come pretty damn easily, especially when you change a screen. And look, I walked onto the next screen. I had like a fraction of a second to move, and I my finger slipped and I wasn't moving, and I died. So. I wish the game was a little more forgiving in that respect, but you know, all things considered, is this a game I'd recommend playing before you die? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. This is such an inventive, interesting game. Um, definitely a game worth trying before you kick the old bucket. And, uh -huh. oh, <laughs> ouch. Wonder what happened if we could get past that. Let's try, because I'm never gonna make it past the stupid water. Let's see if we can get past that avalanche. There is a 20th, uh, where are these bones, by the way? Nothing. There's a 20th anniversary edition of this game that you can totally pick up. It's on, like, modern consoles and PCs. Yeesh. So if you're a fan of this game, you're watching this, you're getting curious, you can go check it out. Um, you can also get it on, you know, the old Amiga. Um, you can... There's a 15th edition anniversary you can pick up. So lots of ways to try to complete the quest of old Lester here. Oh, God. Keep running. Don't stop! Oh, I got a rock to the face. Okay. I think we might have reached the limit of, of Gaming Jay's capabilities in this game. I could maybe watch a tutorial and try and get past one more part, but uh, I feel like we're just rewatching the same gameplay over and over again. So, you know what? If you want to see further in the game, you have to play yourself, suckers. Um, but, guys, I hope you've enjoyed joining me today and checking out yet another classic game from the book 1001 Video Games Must Play Before You Die. If you have enjoyed, uh, go ahead, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game, and we can continue to reminisce then. Am I, like, stuck? Oh! Huh, interesting. What? That's so cool! <laughs> wow, this game just keeps getting neater and neater. So many interesting mechanics in this. I don't know how, how the inventor this thought of this. Okay, well, let's end on like, uh, the death, apparently. Alright, <laughs> guys. Till we meet again, take care of yourselves. Peace. Can you see me? I'm hiding. They'll never find me. Yoink.